Hey everybody, got another cool lock coming at you here. This is a Russ one. It is another old Russ one out of that uh, large eBay purchase from a while back. Um, I finally got around to getting this one uh, modified up and um, it turned into a pretty fun lock. So let's show you what's in it. Well, let me first show you that the key works. There's the bidding on the key. And the only thing with all of my rust ones, the bidding on the key is the same on every single one of them because I have not been able to find this blank anywhere to be able to cut all new keys for it. But the key works. It works really well. No ticks, no nothing. So let's go ahead and let's go top of the keyway. And the top of these keyways is really small, so I have to use my smallest top of the keyway wrench in it. So let's go to the back. Okay, got to click out of six. Just got to click out of two, or three, and that was two. And then a little click out of one. So let's walk my way back. Another click out of one, and I got a little bit of a false set going. Another click out of three, two feels solid, one feels solid, three feels like he's up there, four, I'm having a little trouble getting underneath with that pick, so let's switch to, where is it, there it is, my Sparrow Zero, no, that, that pin doesn't want to move. Like pin six wants to maybe move. There we go. Got a little click out of six and a little bit more false set. Pin five is still solid. We got a little click out of four. Pin one feels good. Pin two feels good. Pin th oh, there we go. Wow. I haven't gotten that lock open that quick yet, so that was maybe a fluke. So let's go from the front, pin one, pin two, pin four, Trying to get a little bit more out of pin six, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Pin four. Huh? No, there we go. Huh. I wonder what's causing that because. Oh well, let me at least show you what's in it. I thought that I had made this lock pretty hard, but this rust one wasn't really, really rough condition when I first got into it so uh, maybe it's just a little bit worn out on the inside causing it to be picked pretty easy or maybe that I've done so many of these rest ones now I've developed a feel for them I don't know I think it's probably the first excuse I just came up with. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at these pins. Chamber one is a single deep serration with a sharp top. Chamber two is three serrations. Chamber three is two serrations. Chamber four is a inverted T-pin. Chamber five is a spool. And chamber six has about five serrations on it. And let's go ahead and look at the plug. And um, here's what I got. I've got threading in chambers one, two, three, and six. And I've got countermilling in chambers four and five. 
But the good thing is I've got it in both directions. So regardless of what direction you pick it, those two should hang up. And based off the binding order that I was getting on this lock when I first made it, those two right there would bind about halfway through the pick and uh, cause it to freeze the core. But twice in a row right now, that didn't happen. So we got it open extra quick. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the top. I've got a serrated in one. I've got a serrated in two. I've got a spool T-pin looking guy in three. I've got a reduced diameter all over. This pin's smaller than the others. And it is a sharp spool to get caught in that counter milling. And that could be part of it right there. Pin 5 was partway caught below the shear line. But uh, that's him. A very, very sharp spool to catch on the counter milling. And pin 6 is another serrated with lots of serrations. And I'm not going to pull the springs out, but I've got threading. Um, let me grab my pick real quick. I've got threading here. Come on, focus. I've got threading here in six. I've got threading in four, and that's not another driver. That's actually part of the spring on that one. And I've got threading on uh, six, five, and four. I don't have any threads in one, two, and three, but I probably should have put threads in at least number one. Maybe I might go ahead and do that before I decide to trade this lock out. Anyway, guys, that's this uh, cool old Russ one. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Don't pick any locks that you don't own or locks that you don't have permission to pick. And as always, please like and subscribe by pressing on the big subscribe button underneath the video.